First of all, I would like to welcome the chief guest, the young, dashing and dynamic collector of Nasik, the well-wisher of foundation and my personal friend, Mr. D.S. Kuswaha, the guest of honor, boss of boss, <laughs> Mr. Avinash Chintavar, our mentor, Professor P.I. Patil, the principals, the deans, our staff members, the guardians of our students, parents of our students, and girls and boys. Of course, this is also my first convocation ceremony. <laughs> After passing out engineering, I didn't get opportunity to return back to my college because I got placement in IPCL Baroda. At the time, it was under uh, central government and thereafter I couldn't return back to my college. I'm still missing that. Dear students, you have spent almost four years in this campus. There are MBA guys also. How many MBA guys? There are only pharmacy and? Only degree. Okay. You have spent four years of your precious life. I would say rather, four years of your prime youth you have spent in our campus. And during this formative period of your life, we tried to provide you best possible what we could have afforded by means of faculty, by means of by means of infrastructure or by providing hostel food and all kind of thing. And I hope that after passing out from when you go, when you face the new world, <coughs> of course you would like to, you will offer so many things to the, to the world. When you go from this campus, some of you will become, apart from the engineering or pharmacist, you may become actor or say musician or say very good entrepreneur or bureaucrat like Mr. Chintavan or great, I'm sorry, technocrats like Mr. Chintavan and the great bureaucrats like uh, Mr. Kushwaha or or like a, you can start an institution like me also. <laughs> but remember one thing. <laughs> Whatever marks you have earned, you know, that is, not much, that is not of much importance hereafter. Your real education will start now. In fact, the real education starts after the college education. And I would like to advise you, you keep your windows open, gather as much information as possible. I expect you to be voracious reader, read as much as possible. And only these informations, what you will gather, will help you to build your career in the near future. After passing out from this campus, we have, we groomed you so tenderly, so delicately. Now we are throwing you in the deep sea. Now you have to learn how to swim along with a shark club. When you face the problem, when you face the real life problem, at the time your parents may not be there with you. Your professors or, 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 or professors like us may not be there with you. Only you have to solve your problem yourself, the real life problem. At the time, whatever you are going to gather information from outside world, only that will be helpful for you. Remember one thing, because your principal center has given me only seven minutes time to speak. I'll have to finish off as much as possible. I, at this moment, I am returning back to the dawn, dawn of the memory lane. I am able to recall my father. My father had said after, after my graduation that 
Whatever you do, you should do with excellence. Now you are going to become an engineer. Try to be the best engineer. Suppose you don't enjoy the engineering life. If you are becoming a teacher, try to be the best teacher. And if you don't get any job, and if you have to work as a sweeper, try to be the best sweeper in the, in the world. And you keep this in mind. Remember that there is no second slot in the world. And that's very true. Jo jita wahi sikandar, baki sabandar. That's why whatever you do, you do excellently. Your every punch should be the final punch of a champion boxer. Don't take life very casually. It's, it is a very precious thing. My father has said one thing. And I still remember, in 92, my father had said, when I had, when I had left my public sector job, and I'm sorry to say that I had clear prelims also, but due to some family problem, I couldn't persuade my mains. And then I had to start my teaching job with two students, a, a coaching class I had started in Mulund. My father had said one thing, I was confused at the time, he had written, in postcard, at the time that was the age of postcard, mobile was not there. And I, I, at the time, I was very much confused. That was the worst phase of my life. My father had said, every person has got the intrinsic quality. I would like to urge my students to, to learn this. Every person has got the intrinsic quality. Means, the quality which is in you, may not be present in some other person. And this is the most difficult task to understand that intrinsic quality. If you can find that intrinsic quality in yourself, you will become the legend. You can become either Sachin Tendulkar or say Mahatma Gandhi or, or the bureaucrat like Mr. Kushwa. The biggest task is to understand that intrinsic quality in yourself. And I want to urge my students to find out that thing. Many persons in life, they say that I'm not lucky, that's why I couldn't become successful. I want to urge my students, what is luck? Many of you couldn't pass the exam in four years, they say I'm not lucky. If you want to be able to get proper job, you will say, no, I am not lucky. To me, the luck has got very simple definition. Opportunity with preparedness. Very simple. Every day you will get hundreds of opportunities. But whether you are prepared to grab that opportunity, that is up to you. That's why always prepare yourself and whenever you get the opportunity grab by both of your hands. And if you want to be successful in life, again, this, my, this is my father's words. If you do any work in life with insincerity <coughs> and dishonestly, you will face very tough competition. Keep it in mind. Because this world is full with dishonest and disloyal people. Don't go through that route. Whether you are doing job or whether you are doing business, do honestly, with loyalty. You will face very little competition and take my word, you will reach the top very soon. And one more thing, don't expect to a pro young professor I am saying, don't expect honesty and loyalty from a common people. These are very expensive things. These are of rarest of rare quality. That's why try to become honest, loyal and also the patriot, true patriot. Now, finally I would like to wish you all the best in the you know, future and I would thank the DM sir for coming and guessing the call. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir.
all these three stalwarts son the diaz today has proved one thing behind every successful man there are a lot of experiences <laughs> thank you everybody so much now i request dr shuchi gautam to kindly give away vote of thanks